cases of plaguing states like Ohio and Massachusetts. Warren County, Ohio, but between Cincinnati and Dayton, has seen 145 cases for children between ages 3 and 14. Experts are now saying it is not linked to the outbreak in China. So we're on your side looking into what doctors are seeing here in the Carolinas. Again, pediatric pneumonia and what it means for you and your family. WBTV's Caroline Hicks is on your side getting you answers. It's a busy time of year for urgent care offices like Star Med in West Charlotte. If you're a parent, you may be wondering when you should bring your child in to get checked out. Experts say there are key symptoms you can look out for. All parents can relate to kids coming home from school this time of year with a bug. But when does it cross over to something more serious? It can be viral, but many times is bacterial following a viral illness. Alicia Allman with Star Med in Charlotte says bacteria building up in the lungs becomes pneumonia. And it almost looks like pus or like a uh uh, just kind of a collection of that of that yucky, gunky, phlegmy stuff. An even more extreme version is known as white lung syndrome. It's not a place where air can go. Um, and so that is, you know, a much more concerning and severe state. We reached out to Mecklenburg County Public Health to find out whether cases of pediatric pneumonia are rising. Public Health Director Dr. Raynard Washington says, as of now, we have not observed any noticeable increase of among children here, but we are working with pediatric providers to monitor activity. It's clear that COVID, flu, and RSV rates are increasing as expected. Allman suggests parents watch out for a harsh wet cough, a temperature above 104 degrees, and shortness of breath. If they are having to take a lot more breaths, so rapid breathing, or can't really get a full sentence without taking a breath, that's when we really need to see that child in the office or in the hospital. In Charlotte, Caroline Hicks, WBTV, on your side.